All right, so for today, I'm going to be showing you basic um, movements, how to make basic movements in a light motion. All these things are simple, you just have to follow closely. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to add and then come to this point, this guy. We want to create a background, so you go to this option here and then stretch to fill composition area. The next thing you want to do is um, add some color to make it look nice. So you come to color and fill. Now you can change your colors to whatever you want, okay? Or you can come to gradient color and then change the colors. So these are the different kinds, the different nodes of your color that you can change, okay? So you can change, this is the linear, this one here is the linear, this one is the radial. Can you see that? So I, not, I normally like to use this for my background, the radial type. So it looks like light is coming from the top or from the side. You get it? So something like that. So this is my major color. So the white is my major color. So I'll change it to something like this. And then the black side, I'll make a little bit lighter. So I'll choose the same color, but um, this time around, I'm going to make it a, a little bit lighter. So I'll come here, I'll just adjust this to the light side. You get it? And you can even change the color if you want to. You can see, so it gives you something more interesting. And then you can drag this one upward or downward or whatever you want. Okay, so um, that's that for that. And then I can make this a little bit darker as well. So yeah it looks like we have two shades of yeah something we're doing there all right so i haven't done that the next thing i want to do now is show you i want to show you how you can make basic movements now this is more or less like a beginner stuff all right so um basic movements click on add come to circle and then i want to add movement to that circle right there the first thing i want to do is move and transform come to move and transform i'll increase the this is what you this side this one here is what you use to move this one here is what you use to rotate you can't see the rotation because it's a circle you can't see it but it's what you use to rotate let me add something different that may help you see the rotation so this is what you use to rotate can you see that all right so i'm going to delete that because i don't need it so i'm going to this is what you use to add to uh, increase or decrease size and this is what you use to skew I don't know if it will skew okay it will so this is how you skew all right so let me undo all that cool so now we want to add movements to this bros so you come to move and transform on this one this guy here you add you come to one second add a keyframe come to the beginning and then once you drag it or you do any movement, another keyframe will be added automatically. Can you see that? So now I'm going to drag this brush out like so, and then we already have a movement. So if you give play, you have that movement. Now I want the movement to be more realistic. So I'll add my, I'll go to my speed graph. And then I'll, these are the different types of graph that you can add. Let's check them out. The first one is, it moves in um, fast and it moves in slow and ends fast. Watch moves in slow and ends fast okay this one is it moves in slow it moves in fast and ends slow fast and slow all right that's ease in now this one is it moves in kind of slow and then fast in the middle and then slow in the end watch this now can you see that it moves in slow gets fast in the middle it moves in slow gets fast in the middle here and then ends slow can you see that Boop, like that. So these are some of the basic movements. If you come to this one, this one is like a bouncing, the one you use for a bouncing ball. You won't understand it until you stretch. So I'll click on this and then drag it to the end like that. So if you play it now, you see boom, 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 like a bouncing ball. That's what you use for a bouncing ball, okay? And then if you click on the second one, this one is like a cartoonish kind of, it's, it's like, uh, it's, it stretches, okay? So you have something like that. Can you see that? 
it, it stretches and then it ends at the point where you want it to stop. But it, it goes beyond that point, but and then it, it returns back to rest. All right. Now you can adjust how far it moves, how far it stretches. This is what you use to adjust the stretch. Boom, you understand. And this one is what you use to adjust how many times you want it to bounce. Okay? So you can have something like this, then like that. Okay? All right. So that is that about all the graphs. But for this one, I think I'm going to use this graph. Yes, this very one. That's it. All right. But I don't, we don't really need it. So what I want to show you now is how to use um, your... So I'm adding a circle now, and then I'll increase it to how big I want it to be in the beginning. Yes, now I'm going to come to one second, and then I'll add a keyframe. Remember, we are on transform, not on move. This is move. This is transform. This is rotate. This is skew. All right? So we are on transform now. That's why it's highlighted green. So this is the size I want it to be at the end. But in the beginning, I want it to come from down so i'll just reduce it like so so you have something like this then i'll add i'll come to my graph here remember you have to bring your playhead this your white stuff you have to bring it to the middle or make sure it's just in between the two keyframes that you have created and then click on um, the graph and then i'll come to this guy and then i'll add this one and then i'll just do this so it gives me that yeah something like that let me add a little bit bounce more yeah something like that works for me and then I'll change the color to red you already know how to change color so we don't need to stress ourselves on that and then I'll add a little bit of border to it while I'm adding a border you'll understand very soon or not yet I shouldn't add the border now until I have duplicated it so I'll duplicate it and then I'll adjust this one that I've duplicated in case you didn't see how I duplicated it, let me show you again. I'll click on it, come to this guy here, and then click on Duplicate Layer. And then I'll drag it to the center like that. And then I'll change the color to white. So if you give it a play now, you see we have that and we have this. So what I'm going to do now is I'll come to this one, the one on top. I'll click on that. I'll come to Transform. And then I'll reduce the size so that it is smaller than the one below it you understand now nice so you have that so if you give it a play uh, it's coming too late so I, I want it to before the uh -huh. yeah something like that the bounce is not bouncing for me let me add a little bit of bounce to it again it's not really bouncing for me the way I want it so then I'll copy it copy curve and then I'll paste the curve to this one on at the top. Come here, curve, and then paste curve. Nice. Yeah, something like that. Aha. Now that works fine for me. So the next thing you can do now is to add a border, a white border, to the red one at the bottom. So I'll add a border. I'm just showing you all the kind of things you can do. All right. You don't have to do this in your project, but these are some of the things you can use. I'm just showing you how to use all this stuff. Okay, so so you have that. The bounce is, is not bouncy for me, but let's just use that for the sake of this tutorial. It's not giving me the kind of bounce I want. You understand? But no, no challenge. Let's just, let me adjust this a little bit more. Yeah, it's too snappy for me. I don't know. But no issues. Let's just continue. All right. Now, the next thing you can do is just because I don't want the tutorial to be too long. So I'm just going to be a little bit faster. So the next thing you can do now is add your logo now to this. All right. So you bring in your logo. Now, before you bring in your logo, I want you to duplicate this white one at the top. Duplicate. We are going to use it. So I'm going to get a logo now. Come to my media and then I'll pick my logo here. And then I'll reduce the size, go to transform and reduce it in size until it matches the circle like that. 
Beautiful. So the next thing I can do now is I'm going to, let me align it. Yeah. I'll bring my circle that I duplicated, I'll bring it to the top like that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove every animation in that because we don't need that animation for now. So what we're going to do is I'll click on it. I'll come to my move and transform, come to transform. I'll press and hold. No, I'll come here. Yeah, I'll press and hold. Now let me come here. Oh, we've already removed it already. So all you can do is just click, click on the minus and then it will remove it. If you press and hold, it will say delete all frames. That's what I wanted to do. So it will delete all the frames. So you don't have any keyframe on it. So you can just bring the circle back up like that. Nice. So what you can do now is you want to mask. You want to mask your logo. So the logo looks like a circle. We don't need a square. We want a circle. If you want to use a square, you can just start using a square from the beginning. So all the elements you are using should be a square. You understand what I'm saying? All right. But since we started with a circle, we, should, we want a circle in a circle. We don't want a square in a circle. You can also use a square in a circle. It's not a challenge. But I want a circle in a circle for the sake of this tutorial. So I'll press and hold my logo. And then I'll click on the circle above it. And then you see this guy here. That's what we are going to use to mask it. So you click on mask in. This one is mask in. This one is mask out, and this one is group. You group the two together. So we are using the one in the middle, mask. As you can see, so we have a circled logo. So what you need to do now is reduce the size of this. So I'll click on the mask logo, come to move and transform, transform, and then I'll reduce, I'll reduce the size like that. So we have something like that. So the next thing I can do now is make add a border to the logo in the center so to just make it look nicer so i'll click on border and shadow come to this add border outside and then i will change the color to maybe red and then reduce that in size you can add any color you want and then another thing i can do is probably add shadow to it so i'll come to shadow here and then our border is red, so our shadow needs to look kind of reddish, if you know what I mean. So I'll click on red, and then I'll increase it. So this, at this point, it looks like a glow, not a shadow. So what we need to do is... All right, so we need to make the shadow look more like a shadow, not like a glow. All right, so what we need to do is come to the color, click on the color, and then come here, and then you just drag this handle here towards the dark side, the dark side of life, <laughs> all right, just to make it look more realistic like a shadow, you understand what I mean, okay, so, it does not have to be all black, all right, so, next thing you want to do now is, you want to, uh, you know, nice, nice things up, all right, so, just apply different kinds of parameters you want cool the next thing you can do now guys is to add your animation to it so we are going to add our animation to the whole layer there so we come to this add a keyframe drag it down and then drag this down cool so you have that and then what we can do is come to the graph we already copied the graph, so you can click on this and then paste the graph. So you have the same kind of graph that you have with the rest. So what you need to do now is just stagger that. And you have the beautiful. The next thing you want to do now is I'm going to group all of them together. Or uh, for the graph, for the logo, I want it to look more realistic, more metallic or stuff, or more shiny. So what I can do is I'll click on that, come to effect. Come to add effect and then I'll go to drawing an edge, come to smooth bevel and then standard add. Mm, let's just add this or let's let me see this smoother edges. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, nah, I don't want that. So I'll undo that. I'll come to add effect again and then I'll go to drawing an edge. Come to smooth and bevel this guy here and then i'll go to standard settings yeah that's what i want you see see how nice it's already looking so this is how you can you can make this look 
more like a sphere, like a circle, or you can just make it look shiny at the edge, like that. And I think I like that one. So what I'm going to do is, you see this one, it moves, it makes the light, the light source move. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to animate that. Okay, so I'm going to come to where this, or probably towards the middle of the layer, and then I'll add, no, not on diffuse, guys, on specular angle. There are other elements you can adjust, but I'm just adjusting the specular angle. I'll add that, and then I'll come to the end, and then I'll add, drag this. So if you give it a play, guys, watch now. You can see the light source starts moving. Can you see that? Nice. Nice. All right, so I'm going to just um, drag and hold and then select those two layers that are outside, and then I'm going to cut them away so everything stay nice and neat. I like my work to be neat. All right, so the next thing you want to do, guys, now is to bring in your text. But before you bring in your text, you want to, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to group all these three layers together. How to do that is you press and hold, and then you select the remaining ones you want to group, and then this is group, so I'll group them together. You can see now they are now a group. What I can do to this group now is add a shadow, so I'll go to border and shadow, add my shadow, enable it, and yeah, you have that nice shadow coming out there. So, yeah, nice. And then I'll just fade it out a little bit. Then bring it down a little, no, not to the side, bring it down. Or well, you can adjust it with your hand. I think this is more, this looks more like what I want. Yeah, something like that. Nice. Okay, so now we have that going on. And the next thing we want to do now is we want to bring in our text. So we have, to, we have to create space because the logo now is taking up all the space. So we have to create space for our text. You understand? Now, um, so what I can do is, don't forget, um, this logo, let's, let me, you can edit anything you want to edit in this logo we've already created. For instance, you can come in here, edit group. You see this, edit group. So you can go back into whatever you want to edit. You see, so what I'm thinking in my head is I want to add something to that red. That red looks too plain. So I'm going to add the same logo. So I'm going to come here and then I will add that same logo to the background at uh, below it. And then what I can do is I can just, you know, um, um, duplicate this layer, the red one be below it, and then I mask it just like we did the first one. So I'll take it to the top and then I will use that to mask that. So we have something like this. All right, but since that is looking so scattered, what we can do is we can just um, reduce the opacity of that. So you come to blending and opacity, you can blend it. Can you see? You can blend if you want to, or you can just reduce the opacity thereof. So I think what I need to do is this one below, I can just change the color to that very blue, okay? So how you can do that is you come to this color picker, pick the color, pick that blue color, nice. And that's it. So now this is, it's still red. No, we don't want it to be red. We want it to be blue. So you pick, come to the color picker and pick the blue color. Yeah, so now it is blue. This looks more realistic to me. So I can now fade the one on top of it. This looks so cool, guys. This looks so cool. Yeah. So you can do this. Nice. Beautiful. Now, the next thing you want to do, and if you want, you can just stay stick to your red one that you have already done I, I don't don't change anything on my account all right 
so let me go in there and edit this guy i'll just reduce the size and then i would probably edit the group and then remove the border for this guy yeah so i don't need the border for it so i'll reduce it more i'll decrease the size more cool yeah this is looking more like what i want nice so now that we have gotten all that out of the way the next thing you want to do now is bring in your text but the logo is taking all our space so we have to move it out of the way so we have to move it um technically not just rashly okay so it comes in like that so at one second it's everything stops like this so what you need to do now is come to one second 15 frames and then click on your logo come to move and transform you see at your move you add a keyframe and then at two second i'll move i'll add a keyframe also I, I don't want to move it now because i want to add a keyframe to the transform also so i'll add a keyframe i'll come to transform i'll add a keyframe i'll come to the beginning where i the one um, second 15 frames and add another keyframe there that's what we are trying to do so i'll come to this one and then i'll reduce it just a little bit to create space for my text if you know what i mean and then i'll come to this guy and then i'll move it up like that and then we we'll, we can just add our ease in graph come to this one also add the same graph ease in so you have something like this cool now that we have done that um we can now bring in our text so this is the area where i'm going to bring my text at this point is where my text is going to come in so i'll add my text f x prime cool i'll centralize it and then i'll add my font and i'll change the color to white and then i'll increase it in size you can see that so you have to stretch this this handle here is what you use to create space for your text if it is tight it will begin to you know do that so we don't want that so um now we are done with our text you can now bring it to where you want it to stand like so and then i'll take it to the middle because of that shadow you see that shadow of that logo i want that shadow to be casted on the the um you understand it now so i'll get that down can you see now oh jesus this is beautiful this is wonderful <laughs> so you can see now it's looking more realistic guys so that's what you want to do as an animator or as a graphic designer you want everything you are doing to look uh, kind of realistic you understand all right so now you want to add some um movement to your text also so i'll come to i'll click on it come to effect add effect and then i'll scroll down to text this one here and then i'll use text transform I'll, you see this fade up by letter that's what i'm going to use so you can see now if you give it a play you have something like this already happening so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this down so i'm going to drag it down to the center where it is supposed to be i'll increase the size a little bit and then i'll drag it back in there yeah because i want that shadow to be really casted upon it and if the shadow is not casting like you want it to you can still go back there and adjust the shadow and make sure it is casting the casting is actually casting <laughs> you can also increase it if you want to okay so yeah this is looking really cool to me all right this is everything i want it to be all right you can add shadow to your text also add some shadow to it if that is if you want to it's not necessary it's not by force okay but if you want it to um, look kind of yeah ah this is nice and then uh the next thing i can do is i want my text to also come in from the bottom all right so now uh before then i'll come here my effect this one i added to the text i'll come there you see this range yeah this end now you see that two diamond shape at the top left is telling you that that is where the animation is so i'm going to adjust the, 
the yeah and then do that and then I'll come to my move and transform for the text. I'll add a keyframe at the end there. And then I'll drag it out. I'll drag it out of the frame like that. And then I'll add the same. Yeah. So if you give it a play now, you have that. And then you have that. Nice. Beautiful. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. All right. So what you need to do now is bring in your tagline if you have any and then you can what I'll do is I'll just duplicate it I'll duplicate that duplicate and then I'll um, change the content add and then I mean, I'll just write anything potential profits every day And then I'll change the font. I'll reduce the size. Yes, so we'll reduce the font. Let me change the font style. Tosia, I love Tosia. Um, yeah, that should work. And then you bring it down. Cool. Now we can adjust it as we want. Uh oh no if you want to adjust you have to come to the yeah yeah that is where you adjust cool so now if you give everything a play yeah but we don't want them to come in at the same time so you stagger yeah stagger it so you give it a play nice so the last thing you want to do let me um check my layers and just do that so the next thing you want to do now is add some motion blur so i'll add a motion blur to this so that my movement looks kind of realistic so i'll go to blur and then motion blur standard yeah so i have that here yeah, for my text i'll add it again to this one i should have done that before i duplicate it so but nothing spoiled i can add the motion blur to the group's logo also motion blur and so yeah we are good and that's it so you can just add other things to just make your logo for instance the background looks too um, boring to me so I can just come in and then bring in something else I can add like that I'll increase the size of this and then I can come to let me bring it down on top of the click press and hold this oh let me do that yeah so i'll bring it on top of yeah something like that and then i'll just go ahead and maybe look for any blending option that works for me yeah this blending works for me so i'll reduce oh can you see you know you can actually um animate this also you can animate it to make it look kind of nice so if you like you can animate it and it's doing something like this if you want to you don't have to but for me this is just what I want to do the period that's all I want I want that to be there so the background is not this is lovely this is lovely I love this all right so this is basically how you can use um, move and transform to create motion and create something really really nice all right so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the rest of the parameters to create animation and how you can animate um, text effects that you add to your stuff. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.